Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you a first look at the bottom sheet component as part of the new release of the version 6 beta of the Ionic framework. So this was literally announced about 4 hours ago and as part of this beta 5 of the version 6 we've got the brand new bottom sheet component. And Liam from the team actually teased us with this um, a few weeks ago with a, a bottom sheet on a map component. Or a screen so today i'm going to give you an overview of how to use this and i'm going to implement this on top of a map screen as well just to show you how we could use this in our apps so having a look at the documentation the new bottom sheet is actually part of the ion modal so all you need to do is supply a few extra props to your ion modal which are breakpoints, initial breakpoint, and you can also supply the backdrop breakpoint as well. So the breakpoints literally just state at which point on the screen that the sheet can be snapped to. So for example, we can supply an array of 0, 0 0.5 and 1. And then the initial breakpoint property, this one is required so that the sheet modal knows which breakpoint to start at whenever it is presenting on the screen. And then the backdrop breakpoint literally just allows us to configure whenever the the sheet is sliding up and down, whenever the, the background is going to fade in um, to our screen. And then you can see the note there that the swipe to close property has no effect when using a sheet modal, as sheet modals must be swipeable in order to be usable. So let's jump into an example. I'm going to create a bottom sheet on top of a map to search some records and display results within the sheet modal. The app I'm using is a UI example that is currently on the Ionic React Hub. So I'll have the link for this in the description. I'll also link the documentation for the bottom sheet as well. And for this, I've just got a simple map component here using pigeon maps. I'll link that as well. And I've plotted a few points. I think my map is set to somewhere in New York. So I've plotted a few uh, food and restaurant points on the map here. And I've got a view all here as well. So we can view all these details. We can click into these as well. So on this map screen, we can also search for points. And the points on the map will be filtered out based on your criteria. So I thought this would be a great use case to create a bottom sheet modal that swipes up and you can search within the bottom sheet as well and then within the bottom sheet modal display some search results that you can then click into that record as well so this is sort of like the preview that Liam gave but we're very used to seeing bottom sheets on uh, map screen so this is a this is a pretty good one so I'm just going to create another fab button let's just copy this one and instead of horizontal end let's set it to start and the on click will be set show list modal, which I've already got set up. And that's just a use state variable here. And that'll just control if the modal is showing or not. And then the icon, let's just set this to list. And then what we need is we need to start creating our ion modal. And let's check if it is open. And this will be set to the show list modal on did dismiss is set show list modal false the next few props that we're going to supply to the ion modal are the new props with the breakpoints so the first one being the initial breakpoint and this is where the bottom sheet is first of all going to show on the screen so let's set this to 0.5 and then let's set up our breakpoints. And remember from the documentation, it's just an array of values from 0 to 1. So let's do 0, 0 0.5, and 1. And then we can also set the backdrop breakpoint. And this is whenever the backdrop starts to fade in. So for this one, I'm just going to set it to 0 0.5 for now. And then within our modal, I want to supply another component, which I've already made, called list modal. And all this does is it has a search bar at the top, and it takes in the search term and the search function from this page, from this screen. And it also just displays a small list of cards for the results. 
based on our search criteria. Let's put this in here, list Moodle, and we'll pass in what we need to pass in. Search term. And the search function will be set search term. And we also need to supply the records as well, which on this page is just called results. So if we save this and we click on our new fab button here, you can see that we get a bottom sheet displaying and we can scroll through the results that are listed. Everything is listed at the start. However, if we search here, you can see that it filters it out based on the search criteria. And this is the bottom sheet up at the, the position one on the breakpoint. If we drag it down to 0 0.5, you can see that whenever we search, it still interacts with the map behind because it's set up with the, the use state variable that's controlling this uh, search container. If I slide the bottom sheet up and down, you'll see how the backdrop opacity fades in when it gets to 0 0.5, which is about halfway up the screen there. So this bottom sheet component is an awesome new addition to the Ionic framework. I think a lot of people have been wanting this for a while and now we have it. So this is awesome. This was just a quick sort of run through of how to use it. It's really just those three new props to supply to the Ion modal, the breakpoint props. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe if you like my content. I really can't wait for version 6 of Ionic to start using this component properly. Thanks!